welcome to my video uh, today's video we're gonna tr make a worm bin um, worm is a very very crucial part of gardening and uh, what it does they do is they eat the vegetation and they poop it out the poop is what we want to collect for the garden it's a very pure form of fert uh, fertilization, completely organic. And I am trying. To, I'm going to try to make this do a challenge where I'm going to spend three pounds. Literally, each of these boxes are a quid each. That's right, one pound each. Pound land. God bless it. It's uh very very key. Uh, went there today. It is the 30th, I believe, of August, 2020. Uh, power land is almost empty guys so please don't mess about get what you need to get now or you miss out um, nothing doesn't look like they're stocking up any more stuff so anyway that's uh, beside the point so I'm gonna challenge myself I want to make spend three pounds and I'm gonna make myself a worm bin so so far if you can see I have punctured holes the sides for ventilation and here is where the uh, particles are going to be falling through eventually so I've been using my scolder because I don't really want to use a drill because it's too noisy and uh, literally I will puncture holes it's quick quick and easy you could use a drill, but um, this, I find this to be a lot quicker. Let's turn it around and do the other opposite side. And the same for the sides. This is the ventilation holes. So the worms are going to have oxygen. And pretty much we do the same for the whole sides. Great. So now you should have something that looks like this. And at the bottom, you've got your holes. Same with the other one. All right. So we're going to stack them all up. should look something like this I'm gonna put a little pot in between to give it a bit of depth all right let's uh, let's get to it so I've put a little pot just in the center and I'm gonna sit this here and it's there all right so next we are gonna go and find ourselves some snail and um, some worms and some compost stay tuned so over here i'm just digging up one section of my garden where there's activities and we've got this big big one here so collecting these snails and put 
putting them in here for now. So these are our candidates. Oh, see the poo? See the one casted? This is what we're looking for. That's the black gold, everybody. So we are gonna collect as many as we can. We're gonna put them. Doesn't matter what, how big, any big or small, they'll both do the same. Obviously, the bigger the better. But uh, as I dig, we're looking for those gold. Oh, so gold diggers? No, <laughs> no. I say the gold makers, the black gold. So we keep going. Can't see any more. But yeah. I'll uh, get back to you in a few minutes uh, whilst digging, and then we'll uh, proceed. So, after a few hours, oh, no, I exaggerated, a couple of minutes of uh, digging before I was able to collect these worms. And so, uh, I'm going to use this one, so I think I got some few big ones and some uh, little ones here as well um, so yeah let's see let's uh, start building up the uh, motel for them so next what I've done uh, with a bit of topsoil and my natural garden soil I have mixed the two together into a 50 50 mix uh, so that the worms can uh, are, can get used to the new environment took out most of the stones out so they're like very fine it allows the worms to move freely with no obstructions and next i'm going to add the worms that i've managed to gather so far this is all you need they will multiply very very soon so put them all in here. Go. All right. Soon they're going to start burrowing into the soil. And uh, next we're going to get some vegetation, some greenery. I'm going to put them on top. Just plucking off some tomato leaves instead of chucking these into the compost. I want to chuck them into the worm bin. Just in a few days' time, they will have attacked all of that. straight in here so now I'm going to add a bit of water just bring some water all over this and that will help with the breakdown process and I'm finding some banana peels so This is going to allow the worms to swim into the mud. As you can see, we now have the three layer system. The bottom layer is going to be the tea from the worm casting. So that is what we're going for. So now that should be enough because they like to be in a dark 
area. We'll cover them up. And that is it. Three pounds. You just made yourself one custom farm. So, guys, you don't need to buy one custom. You can literally do it yourself. I hope I've uh, taught you something new. And uh, knowledge is power. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll give you an update in a few days' time of the progress of this one casting. You know what to do. Show me some love. Get this video out there. Share it to friends and family. If I can do it, so can you.